Alrighty guys and gals, what is going on everybody? What's going on all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. If you are new, welcome to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E. This is World of Warcraft Shadowlands. We're going to give Shadowlands some love. We're going to give retail some love in 2022. We have the big Shadowlands announcement, the next, well not the Shadowlands announcement, the next uh, Warcraft announcement, their next expansion, just a few days from now. The time of this recording, it's the 16th, it's going to happen on the 19th, which just happens to be the one year anniversary of this channel. So in anticipation of whatever that expansion might be, we're going to mess around with some retail. Yes, we are. I'm a classic player. I just prefer the style of it and, uh, you know, but uh, we're going to give retail some love here and we're going to do it in a pretty, uh, we're going to try to do it a little differently. That's how I like to do things here on the channel. What we're going to basically do, uh, I'm kind of an old school D&D &D guy. I love uh, rolling dice. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever rolled dice for D&D &D for their character stats and all that, but that is what we're going to do. That's how we're going to handle this. Um... I'm going to try to make this work. Yes, I am. Whoops. What is this? What we're going to do here... I don't want this. Da, da, da. I'm going to roll dice. I'll tell you what. I'm not a new player. What do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13. So what I'm going to do... Let me show you what I've got going on over here. I've got a dice cam. Pretty low res dice cam, but as you can see, I've got a 20 sided die, uh, a 10, a 12, these are in the wrong order, 8, a 6, and a 4. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to ignore Thunderlord here. I'm going to roll a 12 sided die. Whichever thing comes up is the, uh, is the realm we're going to play on. So, where's my 12? Here's my 12. We're going to roll everything this way. Let's see what we got. We got a six. That's a six. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dagger spine. Dagger spine it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here for Horde and Alliance, well, first of all, to determine male or female, I'm going to roll a 20-sided dice. Um, even is male, odd is female. So where's my 20? Here is my 20-sided die. That is a 13. That is odd. So that's, uh, we're going to be female. We've done very few female characters on the channel. In fact, I think we've only done one for an immersion let's play. So I'm going to do the same thing for Horde or Alliance. Roll a 20-sided dice. If it's even, if it's Alliance... If it's even, it's going to be Alliance. Odd, it's going to be Horde. Hold on, let me roll it so it's on the camera. Get this out of the way. It's going to be hard to make it land where you can see it. Can you see that? I rolled a 14. So, we're going to be Alliance. Now, what do we got here? I'm not going to do the, um, uh, the alternate or the newer uh, races here. I've only got two unlocked anyway. So we got a one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven possibilities. So I'm going to get my eight sided die, which is right here. This is the eight sided dice. Uh, we'll just. What do I have again? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just discount the eight. I'll roll whatever we come up with is what we're going to play. A one. All right. Well, that is human says the dice. Okay. Uh, what do we got down here? We have how many options? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not going to do Death Knight because I think Death Knight start at level 57 or 50 something. 56, isn't that right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's perfect for the same dice I have. Let's see what uh, class we're going to play here. 
trying to get it on the camera. There we go. We got a three. So that is a mage. There we go. We are Alliance Female Human Mage. Let's do some uh, customization here. Yikes. Okay, I'm not digging that uh, right off the bat. Um, let's get a... We need to We need to be beautiful, right? She needs to match what you guys are seeing up here. Sorry for bumping the mic right there. Da -da. We want her beautiful, but we don't want her too beautiful. We want her beautiful and badass. A scar is not too bad. What do you think about a scar? I think we're going to give her some character. We're going to give her a scar. This hairstyle is going away from here. I'm going to make her pale as all hell. I'm not really digging cornrows. Look at all the choices. My God, there's a lot of choices. All right, what do we got here? Uh, where am I at? No, not hair color. Hairstyle. Side part. Pixie. Okay, I'm kind of digging Pixie already. 33 is a po is a strong possibility here. Curly bun. We got a curly bob. Bald. We could be Shanita O'Connor. Slicked back. Simple. You know what? We're doing Pixie. Pixie just jumps out at me. Yeah. What else do we have? Hair color. So when I... I generally roll male characters because I'm a male. That's, I, I don't know. I've, I've never really played female characters... I think a lot of guys do that. I, I don't know. Whatever. But for my male characters, I generally pick black hair or very white or light hair. But um, we are a mage. We could go blondie here. I'm kind of liking the two-tone, though. In fact, I'm kind of digging this. I think we're going to do this. Like silverish, whatever that might be. Face shape. Do I care about this? Narrow. Uh, we'll just do narrow eye color. We need some piercing eyes. Dark blue. We could do diff different colors. If I'd gone with the scar... Didn't I go with the scar face? I thought I did. That would work out perfect. We could do... Uh, I kind of like this. Who's the actress? Uh, Mila Kunis has two different eye colors, for anybody who doesn't know. I think green and blue. Kind of cool. Uh, what else do we have here? Makeup? None? Oh, I see. Interesting. Um, let's just do none. Piercings? I don't know if I care about this. Ruby discs? Uh, what about diamonds? Some diamonds. We're fancy. Let's do diamonds. Necklace? Oh, I just noticed the necklace. Do we have a diamond? Well, we may as well match. Oh, I like the like kind of choker look. Yes. All right. Now we have to pick out a name, and I already have one in mind. I have a name. I've got names that I typically like to use on all my characters because I don't like to mess around trying to get something I want. So I'm just going to see if this is available. Some of you might recognize this name. It says it is available. Next. All right, well, we're going to start where humans are supposed to start. I'm not, we're not going to mess with this. Anyway, uh, let me fade me off the screen real quick. Oh, let's get the dice camera. Hold on, let me get this. Sorry, I've had this up the whole time. What a fucking noob. Sorry, guys. Get that off the camera or off the screen there. All right, let's, uh, let's take in the, uh, the starting zone ambience here. I'll fade me off the screen real quick. Here we go. Sit back and enjoy. Well, now, wait, hold on, hold on. All right, these are fine. Now sit back and enjoy. Emboldened by the return of their heroic king, Varian Rin, the proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Lich King. While successful, the campaign in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. 
Yet, as the great cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. It now falls to you to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. The honor of humanity. Right on. I see some people here. I didn't expect to see uh, to see any people here, but we do have some players. Okay, give me a quick moment. I'm going to change up my UI really quick. This is something I do every time. Actually, can I... Hold on. Here's Bartender. Can I just... I've never actually tried this. Well, I've tried it. Profiles. Can I just load... Uh, resets? What am I doing here? This? Oh, copy from... Let's see if I can get um Look at that. Is that what I want? I think this is what I want. This will work right here. All right, let me fix this really quick. Unlock the window. We'll shrink it down. I'll bring the window up so you guys can see it just above my head, and I'll turn off chat. All right, well, we're ready to roll. I don't have to do anything. So let's check out what do we have here. Will to survive. Is this ours? Uh, let's check out what we have here. Our racials. Uh, 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 this is ours. Okay, will to survive. Removes all stun effects. Okay, that seems like it's going to be handy. Three minute CD on it. I've got some other passive stuff, but it doesn't really... Uh, what is this? You gain 2% more of all secondary stats. Haste, critical strike, mastery, and versatility from all sources. That's kind of cool. And we have one ability which is Frost Bolt. Launches a bolt of frost at the enemy, causing 11 frost damage and slowing their movement speed by 50% for 8 seconds. Pretty OP. We like that sort of thing. All right, let's put our... We'll chuck our... Uh, get a Hearthstone out here. All right. Well, here we go. Northshire Valley. Susie, level 1 mage. Let's get into it. Now, should I... What I was thinking about doing... Uh, I love doing hardcore challenges on the channel. I'm considering doing the Iron Man challenge. Uh, I really should have thought about this before I, <laughs> before I started. So for anybody who's not familiar, the Iron Man challenge, the original Iron Man challenge, is player-created. Um, it doesn't work. They have made rules to adapt to current retail because in current retail, you automatically get thrown into like a spec or whatever. Uh, but the way that it works is you can't have any gear above white gear. You can't have any buffs at all. Um, no talents, no professions. It's uh, it's pretty brutal. And one death equals delete. But uh, I think what we're going to do... We're currently doing a hardcore challenge on the channel. And hopefully that's still... <laughs> hopefully that's still happening. Uh, we're doing it in Classic Seed of Mastery. So I need to make a decision. Do I want to do a hardcore challenge or do I just want to play this straight through? I think we're just going to do a straight playthrough here. Um, and then when the next, when the expansion, when we get a release date for that expansion, um, you know, maybe we'll do something different. So I could chuck on um, all of my, you know, all of my heirloom stuff. I'm not maxed out. I don't have a whole lot of this stuff, especially for... Caster, let me just run through this so this stuff goes away. Yes, yes, I could get this out. I don't know if I want to use that thing. I, I hate that mount, actually. Tell you what, let's just go, uh, we're just kind of go old school. I'm going to skip the heirloom stuff. So let's check in with uh, who we have, Marshall McBride. Greetings. Greetings. Baiting them back. So you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I am Marshall McBride, commander of the garrison. Glad to have you on board. Susie. It is Susie, right? Yes, it is. You've arrived just in time. The Black Rock Orcs have managed to sneak into Northshire through a break in the mountain. My soldiers are doing the best they can to push them back, but I fear they will be overwhelmed soon. Head north of the forest and kill the attacking wargs. What do we get for this? Something that's not an upgrade, but with honor, we'll do it. I'll go with some honor, brother. Also, I've, I've said this before on the channel. Um... That intro that we saw, that guy's voice, I don't know if anybody knows this, but in one of the Terminator movies, I don't know if it was the first one. It might It's the first or the second one, I think. But Sarah Connor, when she's in the mental ward, the ball-headed psychiatrist or doctor 
um, that I think she stabs through the hand, that stabs a pen through his hand. I don't know if anybody remembers that guy. He is the guy that does the voices for all of the intros. I, I found that interesting. I found that out. Um, anyway, let me. One thing I have to do. I've got to turn all this this crap off. I like a little immersion in the game, so we're going to be auto looting. Um, what is it going to be? It's going to be names. I want all of this stuff turned off. I don't want to see any of that. All right, let's go kill some black walk. <laughs> Sound like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> some black rock wargs. So let's check it out. Frost bolts, huh? Might have to fade this bar out a little bit. Hello there. We might as well get him out of the way. He looks like he's up to no good. Snake it around the tree. So I am so used to playing classic. I'm going to have to get used to a few things. Uh, there are things that I do prefer about retail. Um, one of them... I like little quality of life stuff that doesn't affect gameplay. Uh, one of the things is looting. So if I have, if I've killed three things and I go to loot, you'll loot everything in the area as long as it's, you know, in range or whatever. Little things like that. I also love the, the freedom you have with the character models. I love the spell animation and all that stuff. I think it looks pretty damn, pretty damn good. This guard looks like he's struggling over here. Let's give him some help. Also, we're going to go with the uh, the in-game music. Anybody who's been following the channel for a while, I generally have background music on. Just like chill stuff, you know. But we're going to experience some Northshire Valley and some Goldshire, or some Elwyn Forest, I should say. We'll mix it up, you know. We'll do a couple episodes. We get sick of the music. We'll, uh, you know, put some chill background stuff going on. So last time I played retail was with my friend Josh Shaw uh, from Alpine Gaming. That is my brother from across the water. He's in the UK. Um, we played Blood Elf Mages. Uh, male Blood Elf Mages. That's the last time I played retail. But one thing I noticed, the mana, your ma it's, as far as I could tell, it's very, very difficult to get low on mana, at least at these early levels. Now, maybe that will change. What can I do it hasn't been a long time. Uh, you've brought us, you've bought us a little time, Susie, and we've got even bigger problems to deal with now. Okay, well, there's level two. Yeah, the belt isn't an upgrade, but we'll, I guess we'll equip it because it's level two. What do we have here? Lions for Lambs. Oh, that's the name of a movie. The invading orcs aren't fools. They're sizing us up, making sure that when they attack, it will be to their advantage. Uh, in the forest to the northwest are Black Rock spies. They peer at us through spy glasses, watching our every move, waiting. I want you to take the fight to them. Kill the Black Rock spies, okay? He wants eight of them. This is a slight upgrade. Be careful. I will be careful. Mm -hmm. There's a black rock spy right there, spying around. Also, uh, tags are shared in the game. I do remember that. So if I start on this warg, and if she gets a hit on it, she does damage, I believe she shares uh, in the kill. So we should be able to get credit for this guy right here. Yeah, we did. I don't mind that, I guess. I don't mind that. It does make it easier. Uh, I mean, I, th I guess the reason they started doing that, because with any new expansion, uh, it's a nightmare trying to trying to get a tag on a mob. I'm pretty sure that's why they did that. I don't mind that, I suppose. Pretty good distance with our, uh, with our frost spell here. I think mobs are going to have a really tough time getting to us. As if I mean, if I'm playing smart and I'm at max range, I doubt anybody will be able to get to us at these early levels, anyway. It's too far away. 
Also, one thing I like to do with a new character, uh, I like to check out their jokes. Do uh, forward slash silly, and we're gonna check out some of the uh, some of the human female jokes. So let's see. I might have a. Do I have a silly? Uh, 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 uh. I might have a silly thing here. This is not. There it is. I do have a silly. Let's check out some jokes. Also, do I have my? Let's get my my friendly stuff on the bar. If I have friendly stuff, I've got a salute. I've got a thank you. I don't have a hi or a bye. <laughs> All right. Let's make uh, let's make some stuff up real quick. Um, we'll do a hello here. It doesn't really matter. Da, da, da. It's just so I can be friendly with other players in the game, and we'll do a uh, we'll do a goodbye or a farewell. We got like a waving hand, perhaps. Da, da, da. I can never find what I'm really looking for. Let's just do that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, 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 there we go. Save that. And we'll put this right here. Let's make sure they work. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's check out some jokes. Oh, that's not the joke. That's will to survive. <laughs> Me and my girlfriends exchange clothes all the time. We're all the same size. Okay. Sometimes I have trouble controlling the volume of my voice. She does have an annoying voice. Do you ever feel like you're not in charge of your own destiny? Like you're being controlled by an invisible hand? I can't wait till this quest is done and I can look for another Garibaldi artifact. I can't find anywhere to get my nails done. Sometimes I have trouble controlling the volume of okay. my Okay, not really jokes. Um, I think the human males have the best, uh, have the best jokes. All right, what are we doing here? Let's get, uh, let's go ahead and finish this quest up. So, also, there are no weapon skills, right? I don't believe we have... There's, weapon skills is not a thing anymore. I don't even know... Yeah, I don't think weapon skills are a thing anymore. Not, not, not in retail. That is one thing I... I do prefer... Uh... I do prefer having to level up the weapon as you go. I don't know. I, I, I might be on the fence about that. One thing I hate uh, about Classic is having to pay to change your spec. That is the stupidest shit ever. Uh, that, uh, that's It's ridiculous. It's like you're being punished uh, for playing your class in a different way. I, I don't like that at all. I think it's stupid. And it's gets hella expensive, right? It's more expensive every time. That's never made any sense to me. I don't really understand what the deal is there. Anyway, this is complete. Let's go level up. We sh Oh, we got a new ability. I didn't even see this. I wasn't paying attention. That's right. When you level up, um, your ability, your new ability will jump down to your bar. So this is Fire Blast, is it? It's instant. Okay, we'll use this for close range stuff here. Looks like he's struggling, so let's give him a hand. Don't worry, sir. I'll save you. There you go. You're full armor with a giant sword, and you're struggling with a level one wolf. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging. I am not judging. Need help? Excellent work, Susie. You've turned out to be quite an asset to this garrison. It's time for you to train. This is an upgrade. There's level three. I'll chuck that on. I received an urgent message from Sergeant Willem. Turns out that the Black Rock Oryx have hired goblin assassins. They ambushed our battalion behind the abbey. Willem has asked me to send him a hero. A hero? This is another thing I don't like. Uh, this I think this transcends all of Warcraft, though. Like, we're already a hero. 
already like legendary. Just <laughs> okay. Report to Sergeant Willem behind Northshire Abbey. Yeah, it's a little bit too quick, right? The yeah, I don't know. We should be considered a grunt still for sure, right? We're, there's no way we're a hero. <laughs> anyway, hey brother, go get some relax. Here he is, looking like a badass. How are you? I'm pretty good. It's true we were ambushed. Uh, I don't dare send any more soldiers out there and risk losing them too. I need a volunteer, someone to, someone willing to risk their life. Wait, just assuming that's me. Have you ever seen a goblin, Susie? Yes. The wretched little monsters that love only two things, gold and themselves. I agree with that. The Blackrock Orcs have enlisted the aid of goblin assassins to kill our soldiers. If you look to the field and into the north, you can... Uh, right, good reading. I need you to head out there and kill every goblin that you see. Okay, he wants he wants us to kill eight of them. See you later. We'll get some uh, low-rent gloves here. Hey, we got another ability. I have to remember to check this. Also, these bars... Let me move these bars up a smidge here. Da, da, da. This, yeah, this needs to come up here. And I'm not sure what bar two is going to be yet, but it's there. Da, da, da. Okay. So what do we get? We got Frost Nova. Blast enemies within 12 yards of you for one frost damage. But more importantly, it freezes them in place for eight seconds. Okay. Oh, you have a quest here too? Hello, who's this? This is Brother Paxton. You need something? Have you uh, embraced the holy light yet, sister? It is through the holy light that we are saved. It is through holy light that I am able to heal these overly demanding soldiers. And it is through holy light that you will be able to venture out into the field to the north and rescue the farm. But no, it's because of me. It's because of my own will. Take this prayer book uh, with you and go into the field and heal some of the injured. All right? Safe travels. Where's the prayer book? Uh, we can take Silly off the bar. It's right here. I don't think we actually need it. I think we can just click on these fellas. Yes. All right, let's heal some. Let's heal some people. What are you doing over there? You're looking shady as hell. I love the way the goblins die. They're so dramatic. I remember them sometimes spinning around and falling down. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty dramatic. Yeah, we're pretty OP. I mean, I don't I don't even know why you would put heirloom armor on, honestly. It's uh it's a little bit ridiculous. We could probably take on three or four mobs easily. But I'm not I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna get too cocky because we did do an Iron Man challenge in retail last year on the channel and I failed it. I think we were a night elf druid, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we died dark shore. Um I can't remember what we were doing, but uh just wasn't ready for what, what happened. Yeah, that's pretty rough sounding. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad, actually. I don't think we've been struck once, have we? I don't think we've even been hit. But we are a mage, right? We, we are a mage, so. All right, we are done with that. She's like, yes, what do you want? <laughs> I've been sent to assassinate you. So I don't really want anything from you. All right, that's complete. We'll have to venture into that cave, I'm fairly certain. So I'm going to be pointing out differences between classic and retail. I'm sure anybody who's a fan of the game already knows. But uh, in classic, uh, instead of these uh, goblin assassins, you just have the kobolds. You have... Uh, workers, slavers, and something else, I believe. 
Hello. Hello. I think you now understand the power of the light. Well, have a good one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's chuck these on. They're level three. What do we get here? We got blink already? Seriously. All right, we'll take blink. I think Frost Nova needs to go down here. I'm going to put blink here, and we'll put our f uh, will to survive up here. I don't know if we're ever going to use this. All right, let's check back in with Sergeant Willem. I do for you? Uh, that will teach these monsters. They'll think twice before taking another mercenary job for orcs. I don't know. There's still all kinds of them out there, my friend. What do we have here? Excellent work, Susie. The rear is now officially clear. Um, I've got news for you, my friend. Fucking Northshire Valley is overrun. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, we'll take care of the stragglers. I want you to go back to Marshall McBride, standing in front of Northshire Abbey, south of here. Okay, report to him. See you around. See you around, brother. I mean, probably not, honestly, but... Uh... So, Blank, teleports you forward 20 yards or until you reach an obstacle. It frees us of stuns and bonds as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Light be with you. Uh, with your help, we've managed to secure the northern and western sectors of Northshire. We still have a rather large contingency of Black Rock Orcs to the east, and they've begun burning down the forests. That does seem bad. We got another human mage here. Uh, the orcs have begun burning down the forest, Susie. They have taken over the vineyard to the east and are planning their final assault against us. Everybody's leveling up around me. You are our only hope. Okay? We have to recover eight Black Rock Orc weapons. Light bless you. Light bless you. I keep waiting for the quest that says, uh, while you were out questing, I received a note, and it's to go talk to the class trainer, but that's that's no longer a thing. I kind of wish that was a thing. One of the differences I, between classic and retail, I love picking out my my talents. I know it pops up at level 10 and you get to pick from three. And then what is it every 10 or 15 levels? I really prefer the old every level picking a talent. It just, you know, it's uh, I, it just feels good. feels like a lot more freedom. Good day to you. Uh, times like these make me long for when the Defiers were still around. The Cataclysm has opened a pathway from the Burning Steeps, and now Black Rock Orcs pour into Northshire Valley. Okay, please, Susie, that vineyard is all I have. Take my fire extinguisher and extinguish the flames. We'll do this. We'll get a little bag here, and we get a, a level one or level four cloak, sure. See you around. So Millie and Classic, she's back around this side. And uh, Brother Paxton, I believe, is up in the Abbey. Mm-hmm. A little bit of difference. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Well met. Well met. King's honor, friend. Sure. King's honor. Also, where are... Where are the workers at? What? What is it? More work? Are they not in this area? Man, I love clicking on those guys. It's one of, oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, hold on. Hey, we have to do this. The character models have been up updated on these guys. What is it? What? More work? What? More work? No. What is it? What? More work? What is it? More work? <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. I don't know why. <laughs> it just is. All right, let's start slaying some orcs here. I'm taking their weapons. Filthy orcs. Burning down the forest. To what end? So I'm also curious about the drop rate. I don't think it's one for one with everything in retail, but it is not. It is a shitload better. <laughs> this, I would prefer drop rates like this in Classic too. The, the drop, drop rates in Classic and in TBC, uh, they were improved in TBC, I believe, but in Classic, God, they're horrendous. It's stupid. It's really stupid and grindy. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I've said this before. I mean, I think it should be... First of all, you shouldn't have to collect more than 10 things. When you get quests to kill 30 of something, it's like, well, you're like what's the point of that? <laughs> um, 
So if it's like 10, I think it should be, with all drop rates, I think it should be a 50% chance. Like, you've got a 1 out of 2 chance to get it. I don't, that, that wouldn't be bad to me. I'd be okay with that. But in Classic, you could have a quest, you just need 4 items, and you literally have to kill 50, 50 things. <laughs> Now, I can see, like, if you just needed one specific thing, then I can understand a low drop rate, right? Like a 5% chance or something. Because you don't know who's got it, right? It's just one special thing. I can see that. Oh. Oh, we got the fire extinguisher on our back. I'm like, what in the hell? <laughs> what did we get? What kind of cloak did we get? I guess that doesn't count as a fire. But yeah, I do I do like the graphic improvement. This all this also this area is completely different in classic and a TBC. Oh, we've we've completed the quest. Okay. All right, let's put out some fires here. If I can find the right ones to put out. That's not the right one. I guess we have to put this stuff out here. Okay. I'm digging this music. I am digging it. This is definitely not the music that's here. So the music's been updated. But that's one thing I do love about the game. Retailer Classic. I love the uh, the effort they put into the music for for different zones, and within each zone, if you go into some some buildings, you go into will have different music just in the building. Kind of nice. Let's kill one more of these freaks because we want to. Yeah, I do not think we've even been struck once. Uh, Frostbolt is pretty OP, seems like. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gotten into melee range. What is this? Oh, fire extinguisher. It's enabled. The fire extinguisher is enabled. Hey, I see you. I'm only about 40 minutes in. Yeah, so this is kind of a spur of the moment thing, the let's play. Hello. Hello. Bless your heart, Susie. You truly are a hero of the Alliance. I, I would disagree. I would disagree. Anyway, we'll take this stuff. Safe travels. Da, 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 da. We'll take the mitts. They're level four. I mean, it doesn't make a difference, really. Let's check back in with, uh, who's this? M McBride. You you? Have you killed the rampaging orc hordes? I've killed eight of them. The Black Rock Orcs will surely fall now that their main force has been defeated. Only one task remains. There is level five, and we got Conjure Refreshment. What is this? I do remember this from the Blood Elf uh, mage we played with uh, Alpine Gaming. Conjure's mana food for you and your allies. Conjure items disappear if logged out for more than 15 minutes. So what do we conjure here? I think you get different things, right? Yeah. So one thing that's interesting about this, so this thing we just conjured, um, it restores 100% health and 100% mana. So as you as you level up, you get different. You can this ranks up, which doesn't make any sense because if it restores 100% health, then you just need this one, right? Does that make any sense to anybody? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I don't know if we'll ever use that. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will at some point. We'll probably try to do some dungeons. I'll do, uh, you know, we'll use Group Finder down there. I think it's, uh, we can do that at level 10. Anyway, we have to go kill uh, Kurtok the Slayer. We need to slay the Slayer. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother. What's going on? Oh, it's Ronald Weasel, uh, Weezy. Weasley, even. <laughs> Look, he like he gave himself red hair and everything. That's kind of cool.
All right, well, this guy is going to be a joke. Um, I have no doubt. Let's see if he gets into melee range. See if he's got a charge or something. He should have a charge, right? This guy's a fucking warrior. He's not going to make it. He was pretty tanky. So this area is not here. Uh, it's just not here. Looks like there's nothing back here. Uh, not here in class. I'm not trying to be a classic dick. <laughs> you guys like, well, you need to try harder. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we had a short-lived Let's Play on the channel called um, Immersion. I was playing a troll... Was it a mage? It might have been a mage. Um, and what I was trying to do with that Let's Play, I was trying to just pick up a little lore, and I was also trying to see what had changed. You know, like what changed after the Cataclysm, because it's been a long time. Uh, but it just uh, it just didn't work out, that Let's Play. I was enjoying it, and I was trying to be a little creative and artistic with it, but, uh, you know, just didn't work out. Need help? Uh, with Kurtok slain, we are safe once again from the Orcish Hordes. I will send... Peasants to the past in an attempt to seal the passage so that no more orcs may come through uh, our territory. What do you mean send peasants? Why don't you send guards, dude? <laughs> right? All right. We're going to take this uh, staff. It's slightly upgraded. It's a quest item. What do we have here? Report to Goldshire. Susie, you are a mage with proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty... Then I prepare papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Goldshire lies along the southern road. I know exactly where it's at. We get some upgraded uh, pants. We've, we're currently wearing mage trousers. <laughs> we're going to upgrade to some innkeepers' long stockings. So I'm just curious. I want to run inside. I want to see. I mean, we've not been in here. I mean, I don't think there's anything that we would do here. I mean, the trainers are now obsolete. Oh, they have a Pandaren trainer in here. I want to run up to the bell tower. I want to see if... Um, this is where Brother Paxton used to be. I believe that's who it is. I want to see if there's anybody up here or if I'm thinking of a different character. Oh, here he is. Oh, it's Brother Niels. I think this is Brother Paxton in Classic, but I could be wrong. Hey there. I mean, I guess they just put him up here because? I don't know. Okay. This were, uh, this is where you would ring the bell, but there's no bell. All right. Well, I guess we're heading to Goldshire. Uh, if I can find my way out of here. We're doing on time. We're about 45 minutes in. So, I don't remember when we get Arcane Intellect... But that should be our first, um, you know, like buff we can put on ourselves or uh, other players. I will be doing that. I love, I love being able to buff people. I often don't play classes that don't have the ability hunter. One of my favorite classes to play, uh, warlock. You can't. I mean, you can give somebody unending breath as a warlock, but uh, you know. Good day to you. Rest and relaxation. Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in, and there is no finer place to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. All right. We actually get a reward for this. See you later. See you later, my friend. Jeez, our blink. I also think at higher levels, this will get charges on this like we can do it twice and perhaps three times it's only got a 15 second cooldown i could be on my mount but i'm just i'm not gonna do it i i hate the motorcycle mount <laughs> i really do it's it's obnoxious as hell i've never seen that before there's so many mounts in the game now that i've Never seen it. One time in retail, mostly through Mist of Pandaria, I was collecting. I was an achievement whore. I was doing achievements, getting them all. I was doing as many as I could, 
trying to get all the mounts, but there are so many in the game now, it's crazy. Well, we do have a flight path here. So I'm going to be pointing out differences just because if anybody new is joining and they've never played Classic or experienced it, I'm just going to be pointing out subtle differences. So in Classic, uh, there is not a flight point here. There's not a flight master, but I don't know when it happens with Warcraft, but there are essentially, there are now flight points everywhere. Sometimes two or three flight points in a zone. A little bit of overkill, I think. Anyway, this is Marshall Duggan. Report to Goldshire. You have word from McBride. Northshire is a garden compared to Elwyn Forest, but I wonder what Marshall McBride has to report. I don't know. I didn't read it. Well, it says here that you've been awarded acting deputy status. <laughs> what? Uh, sure. Congratulations. And good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. With uh, what with most of the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble. Mm -hmm. It's hard to keep track of politics in these days. We'll take, uh, these are some upgraded pants. Go with honor, friend. I'll go with some honor, my friend. You go with honor as well. Forgot we got a bag. I'm gonna move this here. Uh, eh, 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 eh. All right, we have two quests here. The Fargo Deep Mind. Mine. So one thing you might notice, you'll catch me doing. I tend to put a D at the end of certain words, and I don't, I don't know why I do that, but I... I don't catch myself doing it, but sometimes like when I'm editing a video, like what I just did here, I said the mind. I don't know why I do that. It's an unconscious thing. <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> uh, so forgive me when you hear me do that. The mine is north uh, in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn also becomes a haven for Holbold. God of the reading. <laughs> Explore the Fargo Deep Mine and then return to Marshall Dugan in Goldshire. All right. He also has here a call, a Westfall. We'll go ahead and pick this up. Report to Lieutenant Horatio Lane at the Jansen Steed in Westfall. Well, we're going to be questing here for a bit. Actually, we could go... What happened right here? What is this guy? This guy looks like a uh, fucking Thor or something, like a Roman gladiator. I like. I, I kind of dig his uh, his transmog. I don't understand what happened here. She's not flagged. Uh, I don't know. Right? She doesn't. Okay. I don't know. Let, let me see if I can focus. But uh, what I was gonna say. Another difference between classic and retail is everything scales uh, in retail now. So we could basically go, well, you can see the level ranges here, 10 to 30. So we could go here. Well, we couldn't go there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Am I wrong here? I thought stuff scaled. Lachmadon 5 to 30. I think we can go to Lachmadon. And the, the, the things will scale down to our level or up to our level. That is something I don't like about retail. Um, because it doesn't... I, often in how my play style, I like taking... I like getting a quest that's an elite and it's a group quest. And I like trying to solo it and um, working on it over a couple of levels. And it's really hard to do that in in retail because of the scaling. But um, Hello. This is Remy two times. Hey there, friend. My name's Remy. I'm uh, from Red Ridge to the east. Came here looking for business, looking for business. You got any, you got any? It's two times. Remy two times. He says stuff two times. I believe this is, uh, they're paying homage to Goodfellows, uh, whatever that mobster's name was. He repeated himself. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Anyway, Susie, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentle folk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Okay. So he wants us to speak to Marshal Dugan, even though he's standing right here. Okay. Well, he doesn't believe him. I guess we have to convince him. What else do we have here? The gold dust exchange. Kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. All right? Uh, it's just not an upgrade, but we'll do it. Well, let's walk back over here. 
What mouth is this? Sinful Gladiator's Soul Eater. I've never seen that mouth before. It looks pretty damn wicked. Well met. Well met. Yes, I spoke with Rem, uh, Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. Okay. I guess I can get on board with that. If you're concerned that the rumors of the murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the eastern L1 bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week, and I will know the state of the area. Actually, this guy's been stationed uh, at the bridge for like 20-something years. For the Alliance. <laughs> So we could ride a charger if we want, but let's let's just kind of hang out here. Let's go check into the inn. We'll change our hearthstone, and we're actually going to have to wrap the episode up. In the next episode, we'll do some quests. We'll do some classic quests here in Elwyn and see how they've been upgraded or how they're different. Hey there. This is Innkeeper Farley. What's up, brother? Rest and relaxation for the tired and cold. That's our motto. Please take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. All righty. We get both of these items. Have a good one. You have a good one too, you ball headed bastard. <laughs> See you around. Sorry about that, and keeper Farley. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> All right, let's go check into a room. Let's see what we've got going on up here. This one's occupied. This one's occupied. Oh, we'll take this. Yeah, we'll take this room. Oh, we'll just a little. We'll sit in some uh, some meditation. Whatever that might mean. Anyway, that is it for the episode one here. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Um, like I said, next episode, we will continue to quest here in Elwyn. And then, I don't know if we're going to do all the quests. We might mix it up. Since things do scale with this, we might run over Red Ridge. We might do some Westfall stuff. Uh, one of my favorite areas in the game is Duskwood. I do like that area a lot. So maybe we'll get over there as well. Anyway, we're going to call it here. Thanks again. You guys and gals, take care. Susie and myself will catch you in the next one. It has been fun. Take care and peace.